Welcome to the J&J Auto Wrecking YouTube channel. Today we're parting out a sad one. This is a 1996 Mazda RX-7 twin turbo right hand drive, but it's an automatic. This is the test video of PTMA044. I'm gonna have to train my brain to walk backwards here. We're gonna go along to the driver's side of the car. But here she is, a beautiful silver right hand drive import that unfortunately got totaled and sent to salvage auction. So we picked this thing up. It is, it's cool. I got no other words for it other than it's cool. Looks to be very original. It does have a turbo timer on it. Some deluxe, those are OEM floor mats. Like this thing is straight off the boat, amazing. Really good shape all the way around. Fortunately, all the interior parts are gonna be right hand drive only. So that's gonna kind of suck, but it is what it is. There is the rotary under the hood, the pistonless engine, twin turbo runs great. We'll get that tested out here in just a second. Here's the damage. Uh, sorry in advance if you're an RX-7 fan, it wasn't a public auction, so you had an opportunity. But when we saw this thing, we knew we had to have it. We just, we've really never seen one of these at auction. And this one was wrecked with a very interesting feature here, we'll call it Grip Ice X Tires. That's right, folks. Somebody was driving this thing in the snow and they wrecked it. So props to you, but that was kind of dumb. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up and test some parts. 79,851 kilometers by my rough junkyard math. That's like 55K. The head unit's in Japanese too. This is amazing. It's beeping stuff at us. It's angry. Yeah, no, that's just rotaries doing rotary things. Once it warms up here, it'll clean itself out. But this is just what happens in the old Wankel rotary. Wow, is it tiny in here? Holy cow. All right, yeah, go ahead, get your jokes out. I don't fit. And no, I don't wear a 4XL hoodie. I did see that comment. Runs great, though. We're making a lot of kilogram of centimeters of oil pressure. I had never seen that before. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how dumb I am, but I don't know. That can't be bars. For centimeters, kilograms for centimeters square. What an odd thing. Stop yelling at me. Why is it so mad? Because my seatbelt's not on? I'm going to have to buckle up in a test video. Nope. Well, it's mad about something else. Climate control. Yeah, that all works. Hazard's hazard. How do you know your defrost is on? Oh, cool. Oh, that's sweet. What a rear defrost light. Let's go ahead and test out the transmission. Reverse. And drive. All right, let's see if I can test the door mirrors. I don't even know where the switch is. Here it is. Uh, right driver door mirror. There we go. There we go. And we've got a sunroof to test on this thing. Wow, that's actually really fast. Impressive. This thing was last in Japan in 2012. We can see right here, it had some sort of inspection. No idea what they inspected. Uh, like I said, this car appears to be completely bone stock. It does have a turbo timer. So as soon as I turn it off here, it should keep running for a hot second. That's cool. Hear it beeping. Well, this would scare me turned your car off and walked away. My DSM had it, but it was way less time than this. <laughs> oh, 
That's pretty cool. My eyes are bleeding from the richness of this thing, but that is just what rotaries do. That's why the, the general public never really accepted them as a viable performance option. They run rich, they're kind of cantankerous, they don't do well in the cold, they don't do well in the hot. You gotta let them run for a minute before you shut them down. Otherwise, you just have rotary problems. But this is a good one. A lot of good parts on this thing. Let's just check back in here in a little bit when Darren and Scott have torn this thing apart. I have a feeling this thing might fight him a little bit. She's kind of an odd duck and the stuff is really rare, so let's time them. I'm gonna say six hours for a full teardown on this. I guess we'll know here in just a hot minute. All right, we're back here the next day with the RX-7. Failed to time the guys, but they made pretty quick work of this girl. She's all torn apart. We got a lot of work to do on this thing. A cool little JDM head unit. The Caro Caro Zuria. It's a pioneer, but it is all in Japanese. Anyways, that brings us to the end of today's video of PTMA 044. This is a sad one. You already know it. It was a really rare right-hand drive twin turbo Mazda RX-7. If you guys are looking for any of the parts you may have seen in this video, head on over to our website. We'll, uh, we'll leave a link in the description down below. You can find us online, eBay. We're pretty easy to get to. I'm John at J&J Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>